Juice here. Today we're taking a look at issue 107 and let's get on with today's review. Different setup again. I'm on vacation. Found this sweet as magazine. Let's take a look at it all in this video. Obviously taking a look at the magazine. Um, pretty cool. Um, get this uh, Technic uh, uh, sort of setup. Um, get a couple of game, a quick game here which is really really cool. Then before the magazine, we have another game and a coloring in page of it looks like Sora's mech and a, another mech that I think you can make as your own. Uh, then we get a little comic. I'm obviously going to stop to let you guys all read. Obviously, we have another Katana game, which is obviously with Jay and Neo. Then we have a, um, I was going to say Crux, um, but um, I'll get to it. We have the Zane and Sora uh, uh, basic poster, uh, which is absolutely nice. You got uh, our two sort of white-colored ninja, I guess. And then we have Repton is in control poster on the other side. Some more games, and then back to the comic. And then we have just a bit more basic information about Ninjago Dragons Rising. Um, I guess this was the part where it said um, that Lord Raz, I think, might have been... I don't know. I do think there was a part where it did say... I did cover a video last year sometime, but uh, who knows where that was? Very interesting. I have another sort of game. And then so would be next issues, which is really cool. And the saying the next time here in Australia instead of like another date, um, which is really nice. And yeah, let's take a look at the mini things you get in this. Well, I go in this magazine. So, taking a look at the first, uh, well, the main uh, mini fig that you get in this magazine. It is one of the Imperium Claw Hunters, um, and the gold, um, which is really nice if you want to army build. Um, he comes with this long, long sword. I don't know why they need to do that, um, but super, super cool. Haven't actually had a look at these guys in uh, quite a while. Very, very interesting and cool minifigs. Obviously, nice to army build, um, but, um, you don't need a lot of them, I guess. Um... I guess the if they made Imperium armor, I, I guess that'd be actually really a lot more cool. Um, but I obviously had two choices out of this magazine. I could have either got in um, coal, crystallized coal or crystallized um, Lloyd, which you see on screen, um, which is really nice. I really um, prefer this Lloyd over the coal one because I had gotten plenty of crystallized golden coals. Um, the weapon Lloyd comes with is super cool. Um, I like it a lot how you got the green crystal on the bottom. And you have like this green energy. It's sort of like his own golden weapon. And Lloyd's absolutely a beast here. He looks absolutely good. Um, really love what he looks like. Um, obviously, his suit crystallized. I guess this is probably the best way you could get crystallized Lloyd. Um... One, one way or another um, in this suit instead of buying a big set. Um, again, these sort of hunted robes for crystallized. And it would be a nice way just to get Lloyd, but um, you'd be missing the hood piece, uh, which I do not like missing out on, but I do have all the crystallized suits, so it's not much of a issue. So, was this issue worth it? Um, probably not, um, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.